Welcome back, you guys. Um, as I said in the last video, we'll get into doing more of the car projects now. So today we're gonna focus on working on the GTI, replacing the um, the coolant system silicone hoses, doing the crack pipe, um, doing the uh, thermostat housings. Um, we're gonna work towards that. Uh, the plan is though, I have to remove, I'll show you guys, I have to remove the secondary air injection pump um so secondary air injection alternator um ac compressor so in order to get into there all the way back here which you guys obviously can't see um the crack pipe sits behind all these three things so i have to remove pretty much the majority of it all the hoses um and then while i'm in there i will be removing permanently the AC compressor, I'll be taking off all the lines. Let's move that. Uh, all the AC lines, um, just because the alternator, it had a bad clutch in it. The clutch I took off, so um, effectively useless. It's also, the system has been discharged the entire time I've had the car. Um, so the plans from the beginning has been to not use it. So I'm just gonna remove it all. So it's uh, one less thing out of the way when I had to go work on my car again. Um, but before we get to that, I did get two new things in the mail. Um, got a box. And in this box are tools so we can actually work on the cars better. Um, I got a kit from Home Depot. I can get that to say. I got a, what, 290 piece set from Home Depot. I had a bunch of gift cards, so I just used that. So it's all ratchets, um, sockets, wrenches. I had those, but um, doesn't hurt to have more. Um, Allen keys. And I got one more thing. Oh, yeah, just a bunch of deep sockets. So I'll grab that out of the box, throw that into my trusty $400 steel of a toolbox. And then I also got this, which this may not look like a lot to you, but this is actually a pretty big win in my book. Um, this is a Armrest Elite for Mark IVs. Um, I think this is the first one I've ever seen that was in beige. They've always been either black or gray, and I can show you exactly where that goes. So it's a little dark, but Right here, let me light that up with my phone. Right there, that is a mount for um, the armrest. I mean, obviously nothing's there right now. Um, I have the armrest, but when I bought the car, it wasn't in because my plan was to install this. But this took forever to find. So essentially, this will get unbolted. Uh, there's a bolt there, and I believe that's the only one. So this will unbolt, and this will clip right into that place. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, relatively cheap, but it was definitely a big win because I've never seen a beige one. So I bought that as soon as I could. Um, but I'm gonna start throwing all the new tools into the toolbox. Um, and then once I get that all done, uh, we can get started on um, going through and taking off all the stuff on the front of the block. So let's get started. Before I get started on doing the uh, coolant lines and removing the stuff off the front of the block, uh, I did go through, uh, I removed the radiator support and the radiator drain the coolant lines earlier this week. Um, I did film it, it didn't come out great, but um, I cut it short. Uh, you guys don't see the whole process of taking it off just cause it was, turned out to be a little bit more of a struggle than I thought it was gonna be. So uh, I don't want you guys to see me struggle, um, but here it is, it's right here. 
Um, there are still a few things I need to take off of here. Like this hose, need, hose needs to be replaced. Um, actually, I think that's the only one on there. Uh, but that hose needs to be taken off. Uh, I need to get rid of this canister. This is part of the um, refrigerant system for the AC. Um, I'm still unsure if I want to take off the condensing coil for this or just leave it all in there. Um, it doesn't hurt anything if it's there. It's just you take the whole system off. Is it worth taking it off or just leave it there and don't let it become a headache. So um, I'll figure that out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, start tearing into the car, removing that stuff off the blocks. And then um, you guys get to see. As you can see, I got the uh, I got the secondary air pump off. Um, I had a lot of issues with this mount. Uh, let me light that up. So it looks like the mount should be able to come off, like right here. But for some reason, it just wasn't coming off. So I mean, you can see how much I struggled with that. I eventually just had to bend this bracket back enough where I could just kind of slide this air pump out. But I mean, definitely need to figure out how to uh, how to put that air pump on correctly. Um, whether it's that bracket is the issue or um, there's another piece in there somewhere that I didn't see. But um, I definitely need to find the proper way to uh, Re reattach the uh reattach that second air air pump as i thought having that sai pump off made this so much easier to come off you can see that little tab right right here on the top all you had to do was just push that up and then slide it right off of this right here which i was doing that but um i guess it wasn't a fan of it the way I was doing it with the uh, the pump still in place so now with that off we can see a clear view to the crack pipe or fluid transfer pipe um, and then we also have right here it's a little harder to see but the uh, we have the um, coolant or the uh, coolant sensor housings that I'm gonna have to get rid of all this tubing still so, working on the crack pipe now. Um, that one was off. But, uh, I ended up breaking it, and it just... Oh, look at that. Look, look, pouring out. Um, as I was saying, broke off right there, and it just pissed coolant all over the garage floor, so... Um, Is it now? Nine. Is it? No, it's not. Where's your watch? You're not wearing your watch? 7.39. I was gonna say, it was definitely hard to get camera angles in tight, tiny spaces. Well, as my dad says, you're taking 10 pounds of crap and shoving it into an eight pound bag with this engine in here. And that, oh my God, that seals, I need that. That seal is disgusting. But that 
is getting replaced by this. What are we doing at the wall of parts? Uh, I gotta find a new coolant temp sensor. I believe a new plug. Um, plugs doesn't do anything. It's literally just like there to, I think. Yeah, the plug is just there to fill up that hole. Um, and then find a new gasket right for right there, which this one's a gasket. This one should just be a uh, an O-ring. Just gotta make sure I find the right one. All right, so we got the sensor and the plug-in. Now we need to do the O-ring. Engine coolant pipe to crack pipe. That's a crack pipe, you mean it. All right, so we got that all together, so let's go pull off that um, crack pipe. Get it or no, I broke a piece off, so now it has to come out. <laughs> she not staying in. There we go. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, fuck me. Look. I broke. Is that like a little bit of that? So there's the a lip ring? right there. It's a channel just like this side that the o-ring sits in. Here, let me go grab the other one. Uh, the channel might be stuck in there. So Matt, right here. So this channel cracked pulling it out. So I'm gonna try and get picks in there. Try and pick out this piece. Well, give me a pick, I actually see it. Right on the end there, you see? Hard to, maybe you guys can see it, but you can see the piece. I'm gonna try to pull it out right now. Is it like jammed in there or is it kind of just floating in? Just floating. Oh, that's convenient. I think I got the only piece that was broken off. So you're telling me that I've had pieces of plastic bobbling through, through my block. Yes. All right, so let's take these over and uh, go get those O-rings put on. Two O-rings, you're good. Yeah, like that. One, two, again, great powder coating by my buddy, Ryan at Redline Coatings Point down in Delaware. In I'll put it in the description. Oh, well, I'll link his Instagram and Facebook. I think he's, he doesn't have a website. So I'm gonna go throw this coolant pipe back on. I believe, oh God, it's all dirty. Uh, Not dirty. I believe it will be going in this direction. So the block front, and this is the section that we just pulled out and broke. Before I put that crack pipe in, I'm gonna see if I need to replace that line. I know this one gets replaced. I'm assuming that's gonna get replaced as well. And if that's the case, that's gonna be a pain to get off. I'm gonna guess this one. Was it really? I believe so. Hell yeah, what does the other one look like? Um, like a seven? Kind of, seven. Or an L? It looks like an L, but bends back. Like that? Yo, you are too good. Two for two. Two for two. <laughs> Volkswagen hire me. Eventually, it's just gonna rip off. You're just tearing it right now. Oh! Did you get yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> that could have been bad. Got it. I lied, I need 
need to. All right, so we got, I'd say, 75% of the new hoses in. I uh, got the crack pipe in. I also got the um, the new aluminum thermostat housing in. Um, there still are a few more things I have to go through. Uh, I have to remove the AC, the compressor, and uh, lines. I also have to finish installing the remainder of the hoses, obviously. And then... Um, after that, I think it's actually ready. Oh, I think it's ready to uh, have everything reinstalled. Put the um, put the core support with the radiator back on. Hook it up. Um, can't start it yet because I still need to buy the MSE coil packs. Um, but once I get those in, then we can start it. We can flush the system, clean it, and then fill it up with new with new coolant. And uh, hopefully that will help fix the coolant issue, coolant leak I've been having. Um, it hasn't been a big one, but it's just a constant smell of coolant um, after you're done driving. So hopefully that helps. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get informed when the new videos come out. Thanks.